Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Moe, K Swedish Whiskey Girl. Today we're back with day 11 and I have my whiskey calendar from that particular whiskey company. And yes. And yesterday, if you watched it, you watched me get quite perplexed and <laughs> amused. And I don't know what it was by the inch pad 13 year old. I had a look online and it goes for £60 and it is what I expected actually, or what I suspected. It's a heavily peated Loch Lomond whiskey. I only get, hmm, it doesn't really taste heavily peated if you compare it to some of the whiskies maybe from Isla, in my opinion. You mostly got it there on the finish, but it was a definitely an interesting one and I mean, on my first try of it, I picked up no peat at all. So yes, let's move on to day 11 and see what we have today. Can it be as equally exciting as yesterday? I guess we'll find out. If I can ever open this. Oh, why am I so bad at this? I'm gonna break all my nails. Try and get this open. There we go. We're trying it blind. Am I stuck a little bit? And so we're not having a look. Put my glass here so I can pour it. And then we're hiding it behind so I can have a look. I'll start by having a look on the nose. Ooh, is this sherry straight away? Oh, it's like, it's like being, like, I relate this to being at my grandparents' house up in the more northern part of Sweden. And they have quite a woody house, so there's a lot of kind of wooden stairs and wooden furniture. And you walk down into their basement, it's really cold and it has a specific scent. There's like wood meets basement. And if they stored sherry there, like a wine cellar, but my grandparents' basement. That's why I'm getting on the nose on this. It's lovely, it's quite nutty, it's quite dark, but it's quite velvety. It doesn't really have any sharp notes. It doesn't feel too hot. Or sticky sweet. I mean, there's a little hint of a raisin note, but... It's like a... When you play a beautiful sherry melody and it just like floats seamlessly. Yeah, I really like this on the nose. Let's have a little sip, Sandra. Quite rich on the palate. It has a sensation. The first time I tried it, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be a little bit spicy and bitter. But it completely turned and like it got exciting and then it kind of just kept it going and just kind of mellowed out. So not at all unpleasant, quite an interesting palette and quite a well-balanced one, I would say. Between you have a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of spice, a little bit of woodiness, a little bit of sherry influence, but they're all kind of swirling around. I wouldn't say it's overly a specific sherry style on the palette. I do think it's probably sherry though. Yeah, I mean sherry would be my guess. But the palette is throwing me a little bit. It's a little bit more honeyed and a little bit lighter and a little bit more those kind of generic sherry wood flavors. So if you've seasoned a cask, it doesn't have like the, the, the intensity of a flavor of Oloroso sherry or the intensity of a flavor of a PX. But it's all this little nuttiness, a little bit of raisins, a little bit of woodiness all coming together, making this kind of soft ball of sherry darkness, but it's quite easy to approach. So let's have a look at what this is, if I'm right or if I'm wrong about the sherry. Huh, 
This is Glenelki 10 year old. A Glenelki 10 year old batch 3. This is a 49.9% ABV and it's a single malt Scotch whiskey. Interesting. It's um I haven't tried a sherry influenced Glenelki around 10 to 12 years old in a while, so I'm not really sure if I would compare it directly. Still a pleasant sip. I would say quite easy going. For me, this whiskey is a bit like you see two different things in it. You have this kind of sherry notes and then you have like the spicy woody element and they come together quite nicely and quite smoothly. But to make this whiskey even a step better, I would have wanted a, a third layer of something um, just to kind of make the flavour a little bit more exciting. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> good whiskey. I'm gonna find out until tomorrow what kind of cask it is, hopefully. It doesn't really give me any clue here, I don't think. But um, my guess would be a sherry cask. I'm trying to think, could it be Madeira? Could it be like a red wine? But on the nose, which is what I'm primarily going on, it feels like a sherry cask. But we'll see tomorrow. I hope to see you then and hope you're having a lovely December. And yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Sanjara. Skull.